Hi YouTube, it's Lauren. You're watching The Substance Project. Did I make my bed today? No, I didn't. But do I have a helpful tip for you guys? Yes, I do. So I think we've all had this moment where you've been in your house and you find a bug and you're like, what the f, f is that bug in my house? Sometimes it's obvious, sometimes it's a centipede or sometimes it's, you know, like a normal looking spider. But sometimes you're like, oh my God, is that a brown recluse spider? Is it gonna bite me and then am I gonna have a giant size hole in my arm? Maybe, I don't know. I'm not a bug expert. This happened to me once when I was living in Chicago a while ago. Um, I lived in kind of an old apartment, uh, a vintage or cozy apartment as they like to call them in Chicago and other big cities. Um, and I found, I kept finding these little bugs in my pantry um, and they were, they kind of looked like spiders but they didn't have eight legs so I knew they weren't spiders and I knew they weren't ticks and I knew that whatever, but I didn't know what they were. So I was like scouring the internet, couldn't find an answer. And then I came and upon a couple websites that were crazy helpful, super nerdy, but definitely crazy helpful. The one that I actually used was um, a website called whatsthatbug.com. And you actually email in a photo of the bug that you find and like where you live, um, where you found the bug, things like that. And then a bug expert gets back to you. The guy who got back to me was a professor, I think, I was looking for the email and I can't find it because it's like from 2012. But um, it, he was a bug expert, I think a professor in uh, Pennsylvania, like at UPenn or something. So it was really interesting and I found out what, what it was. They're actually called spider mites. They're totally not, um, harmful, um, not poisonous. I don't even think they can bite you. Um, but they live in old houses. They eat like, uh, I think he said that they eat like wood or something. I don't know. I don't remember. All I know is that it wasn't, they weren't poisonous. There's also another website that I found that's called, um, ask.extension.org. And that one allows you to do the same thing. It asks you to upload a photo and, um, kind of like say where you found the bug, where you live, blah, 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 and then a bug expert gets back to you. So I think these things are pretty cool. Um, sometimes you can Google until like your fingers hurt and you won't figure out what this bug is and then you can't sleep because you're like, is he going to kill me? Is he going to kill my dog? Are, are my family members going to all get poisoned by this bug? I don't know. Again, I'm not an expert but I found some that can help me. I'll put all of these helpful links in the comment section below. Hopefully this will help you um, rest easy the next time you find one of those creepy crawly visitors. And maybe you don't have to kill all of them that are in your house if they're just like nice and just cohabitating with you. If you liked what you saw today, please, please share us with a friend, neighbor, sister, cousin, whoever. And if you really liked us, please consider following us below. I promise that you'll like hanging out around our channel uh, and check out some of Jody and Ashley's videos as well.